How to Address a Letter to England Whether you have a beloved family member, less loved business partner, or downright disliked ex, friend living in England, from time to time you may need to communicate with that person via letter. If you find that this is the case, but don't know how to address a letter being sent to England, scroll down to step 1 to find out how you can prevent your letter from arriving with your dear aunt, rather than your ex, friend. Steps 1. Flip the letter over so the blank face of the envelope is facing up. Seal the envelope on your letter. If you are using a bubble wrapper, an envelope padded in bubble wrap, or if your package is lumpy, address your envelope before placing the contents inside to ensure that the address is legible. 2. Know where to write the address. You will be writing the address of the letter's recipient in the middle of the envelope. Leave enough room for up to nine lines of text in the middle or middle to lower right-hand side of your package. Your stamp will be placed in the upper right-hand corner of your envelope. 3. Write the recipient's name in the center of the envelope. Address the person using their title, first name and last name. Or, you can choose to use the initial of their first name. Example of full name, Mr. Jim Stewart. Example with initial, Mr. J. Stewart. 4. Write the name of the business below the recipient's name. If you are writing a business letter, you should write the name of the company or organization that the recipient belongs to below their own name on the envelope. However, you should only do this if you are writing a business letter, there is no need to write the name of the business if you are writing a personal letter. For example, let's say the business is British Imports, Exports. Your address would now look like Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports. 5. Write the name of the building you are sending your letter to. This should be written on the line below the business's name if you are sending a business letter or the recipient's name if you chose not to include a business name. Note that if the building you are sending your letter to has a street number, you do not need to include the building's name. For example, the building's name is Pilton House. You would now write, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House. 6. List the street number and the name of the street. Write down the street number of the building you are sending the letter to, as well as the street name. To our example address, you would now add, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road. 7. List the name of the town or large village on the next line. You only have to do this if there is another street within the post town that has the same name as the street your recipient is located on. If the street you are mailing your letter to is the only street with that name in the post town area, you do not need to include the city or town name. To continue with the Jim Stewart example, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road Greenway End. 8. Write down the name of the postal town. The postal town is the main town or city that you are sending your letter to. You must write this name down in all capital letters. For instance, if you were sending your letter to Timperley, you would write, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road Greenway and Timperley. 9. Know that it is not necessary to write the county name. However, some people prefer to write the county's name it all depends on your personal preference. To continue the example, you would write, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road, Greenway and Timperley Altrincham. 10. Find your recipient's postal code. Unlike many other countries, England uses a postal code that is made up of both numbers and letters. You can run a search for your recipient's postal code online by using a postal code finder. For example, Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road Greenway and Timperley Altrincham SO 324NG. 11. Write the country name. On the last line of the address, write the name of the country you are sending your letter to. In this case, it would be the United Kingdom or England. So, to finish our example, you would write. Mr. Jim Stewart, British Imports, Exports Pilton House 34 Chester Road Greenway and Timperley Altrincham SO 324NG England. 12. Review the address you have written. Each address will contain different information, depending on whether you are writing a personal or business letter, and whether or not you choose to include the county name.
If we're to write every piece of information out, you should have your recipient's name, the name of their business or organization, the name of the building, the street address, the village name, the post town name, the county, the post code, and the country's name. Tips The United States Postal Service treats the terms England and UK as synonyms. UK stands for United Kingdom. If you are writing to a post office box, P.O. box, replace the street address information with the words P.O. box then the number. Things Envelope Address Pen or marker Letter